What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, play William Nylander with the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Obviously, Willie was named the uh, NHL's Rookie of the Month for October in a month where he entered as the third most highly touted rookie on the Toronto Maple Leafs roster. You know, and, and I. I'm not knocking these fans at all for this. I just think it's it's human nature. Where like Nylander has been, you know, with the Marley, it had been with the Marlies for, you know, year and a half, almost two years, or yeah, a little over a year, not that long. Got up, got a 22 game cup of coffee with the Leafs last year. Looked pretty good. And I was like, oh yeah, he's pretty good, but he's still actually called the trophy eligible. And then obviously because he was rookie of the month, and then you know you pair him up with Matthews and with Marner in that top six, and it's like, oh shit. Yeah, he's he's just, he's pretty fucking good. Uh, obviously, you know, Matthews number one overall pick, four goals in his debut. We all know the kind of player Marner is, but Nylander kind of got lost in the shuffle. And I, and you know, I see the quotes from Mike Babcock, Mike Babcock, and you know, he's like, yeah, kind of forgot how good he was. And I think he's going to be a huge part of what the Leafs are all about and what this next generation, if you will, in Toronto is going to be like. Um, you know, it's, they're an exciting team to watch. I mean, you know, anytime you have that much young talent in one place, you're going to tune in. Now, you know, he's such an adept playmaker. He can shoot the puck very well. has a sense of creativity that you want in a top six forward in the NHL. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what the next few, you know, months and years hold. But I, I think he's going to be an excellent fit with this Leafs team going forward, which is like saying, you know, the sun's gonna rise in the east tomorrow, um, but my next point I've talked about this a few times this week is Toronto's gonna start moving veteran forward, you know, so it's gonna be you know the aforementioned young trio, Shaw Chicago called up, you know, Cabin and can't be too far off, you know, there's a lot of young guys knocking on the door for roster spots, and you know I think the, the play Nylander and a lot of the other guys have necessitated that not too far, not too long from now they're gonna have to move Van Riemsdyk, Kadri you know, open up spots and, you know, try to address their D. And, um, you know, when you get a nucleus like this in place, it's going to be pretty damn cool to uh, watch them grow. And the fans in Toronto have suffered long enough. They've got a damn good hockey team to root for. And uh, you know, there's def right now one of the more entertaining teams in the league. And the wins will follow. You know, th this group's going to grow together and be one of the best stories in the NHL for the next few years. Anyway. That's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes with the season and beyond. Later, guys.